everybody is well today. Good morning, York. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Angelo. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jill. Good morning, everyone. Um, why is this not coming up? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Facebook. Okay. Facebook. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right. Here we go. Hectic, crazy morning. <clears throat> Was out walking in <clears throat> 46 degree weather. Get that exercise in. I held a minute of plank today. Woo Having a lot of fun working out. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. I gotta turn off the alarms from this morning. And uh, today, this little exercise program I'm doing with my friends. Today I'm gonna do, oh my God, uh, 100 squats. <laughs> That's gonna be quite the day. My knees and my, my, my back are like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're doing squats. And uh, 60 crunches, I already got 20 crunches in and 10 push-ups, which I love. I always do more push-ups because I got really strong arms. And uh, yeah, anyway. Um, oh, and I've been drinking my celery juice. Boy, oh, I love celery juice. Do any of you have daily exercise, morning habits and practices? Feels great. Maintaining the 3D vehicle, the human body. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> All right, lesson three, 311. Now let a new perception come to me. Father, there is a vision which beholds all things as sinless, so that fear has gone, and where it was is love invited in, and love will come wherever it is asked. St. Germain, Violet Flame thing going on here. And love will come wherever it is asked. This vision is your gift. The eyes of Christ look on a world forgiven. In his sight are all its sins forgiven. For he sees no sin in anything he looks on. He looks upon. Sorry, I'm having a little celery juice reverb. <laughs> now let his true perception come to me that I may awaken from the dream of sin and look within upon my sinlessness, which you have kept completely undefiled upon the altar of your Holy Son, the self with which I would identify. Gorgeous is that. Let us today behold each other in the sight of Christ. How beautiful we are, how holy and how loving. Brother, come and join with me today. We save the world when we have joined, for in our vision it becomes as holy as the light in us. That reminds me, whenever two or more are gathered in my name, there is love, like Jay says. Mm. Let a new perception come to me. All right. Oh, the audience joined us. We just joined us. Hi, Venki. Oh, my God. Our friend Venki is an extraordinary artist. <clears throat> and she has painted the most gorgeous paintings. It looks like Jesus and Magdalene and the Apostles. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am very blessed that I have one of her paintings hanging in my home. Absolutely stunning. All right, let me bring forth, oh, I love you. Let me bring forth our beloved Magdalene to speak her words of love and wisdom for us. Now let a new perception come to me. Oh, St. Germain Violet Flame keeps trying to come in. Oh, the sun angle of the sun is changing. And at this time, I'm just been letting my mom Today is just one of those. Oh. Today is one of those very human, very disheveled days. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I'm going to make this work. Oh. oh, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. All right. Here comes Black Blue. <sighs> I 
Greetings, beloved ones. Beloved, the perceptions that you have for every circumstance, the perceptions that you have of self, the perceptions that you have of others, they are choices that you have made based on the field of information that you have available to you, given your perspective. Your perceptions create the sense of reality that you have. And just as easily as you can make one choice, beloved, there are options for another choice, another point of view, another way of perceiving the very existence that you have called your life, the way that you have designed it, the way that you have painted it, the way that you have created it. And you are able to see through the eyes of Christ. You are able to love with the heart of Christ. You are able to choose with your free will that was granted to you upon your creation. You are able to make a different choice than the one that you have made by default through history through beliefs. Beloved, each being is being guided, if you will, through their journey. One moment, please. Each being is being guided through their journey of co-creation. With a prime and directive, prime directive that says, all will once again return to be in the kingdom that they have never left. But in the process of this journey, beloved, and some choose for the journeys to be longer than others, you have made choices that have separated you. You have chosen judgment rather than love. You have chosen separation rather than connection. You have chosen to focus upon the darkness rather than upon the light. You have chosen hatred rather than love. You have chosen fear rather than love. But beloveds, understand that there is always a presence and a force within you that guides you back, that guides you towards, that guides you forward to love and to light. And indeed, you have the choice at every moment to shift your perception. If you are willing to allow a new perception to come rather than the same old story that continues to repeat itself again and again and again until you say, ah, this is no longer serving me. Let me look with eyes anew. Let me come with a heart that is wide open to the truth. It is then, beloveds, that you are guided to take on a new way of seeing someone or something or a circumstance that you believe has always been a certain way. I know what my wife will say. She always says this. I know what my father will say. He always says this. I know how my child will act. They have always acted this way. I know what my response will be. I have always felt this way. But beloveds, have you truly? Have they truly? Have you given yourself a chance to possibly have a new perspective? Have you looked at them from the side? Have you looked at them from behind? Have you looked at them from above or below? Or have you always myopically looked at them from your point of view and not ever been willing to see that there is something else that is available here? in each and every relationship. And beloveds, what is available to you in every moment of perception is for you to look and to perceive through the eyes of Christ. When you allow yourself, beloved ones, to have your guidance be from your higher self, from the Holy Spirit, from higher consciousness. You have lifted yourself up and away from the egoic mind that is constantly meddling, that is constantly making choices that are against this or against that or for this or for that. And if you are for this, you are therefore against that. Rather than beloveds having the opportunity for 
a field of neutrality that allows all to coexist. That there will not be a reaction, there will only be an expression of love. So allow yourself today to have a new perception of something you, that you have always known to be a certain way. Allow something brand new to come to you today, beloved. Let yourself experience something that is far beyond what you have ever considered yourself to be. Find yourself loving in a way that you never have. Find yourself being willing to not know how someone will react, to not know how you will react. Allow yourself to feel the change that is felt by saying, thy will be done. And find a way to surrender to the God-given gift that you have of free will. Free will to choose something other than the way that you have always known a person, a circumstance, or yourself to be. Go with our blessings. Go with our love. I will speak with you again. <sighs> hmm. Hi, Lorianne. You're so welcome, everybody. love. See you guys again tomorrow.